Hello, I'm Tom Beers, and today I'm gonna make a pumpkin pizza for you. <laughs> Tom Beers. I'm the executive producer of Halloween Fright Fight. Now today what I want to do is something completely different, but you know, in the pizza world. Red sauce, traditional red sauce, is a great pizza sauce. What I like though, occasionally is to mess around with that base formula. So what we've done is we've roasted up a whole pumpkin. Just cut that sucker up and threw it in the oven at 325 for about an hour and a half. What you do is you take that and you peel it off. Pumpkin, if you think about it, the texture is pretty much the same as tomato. A small or medium sized pumpkin like this could make about six pizzas. So what I normally do is I'll roast one pumpkin, I'll put some of it in a Ziploc bag and throw it in the freezer and use it later. And then I'm just gonna do a little bit of mashing. The idea is you wanna make it a little coarse, you know, but at the same time, be able to kinda spread out over the pizza dough. We're gonna flavor it up a little bit with, you know, some garlic. Coarsely chopped. Arr, 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 garlic. <laughs> Mouth wash of the gods. We got to put a little bit of oregano in here. Hey, look, the I'm, reason I'm kind of cooking today is I really would love to tell a story. When you think of Halloween, what you really think of is, you know, what scares you the most? I've kind of been thinking about that for a while. Put a little dash of olive oil in the bottom of that, too and we'll put a little bit of salt. Okay, so we're talking about being scared. In my life, I've you know done a lot of scary things. I've been shot at, I've been stabbed with a knife, I've had three different airplane crashes, I drowned once in Mexico, and I've survived that. But that's not what scares me. So I was thinking about it, and I realized my favorite thing was, years ago, I lived in a haunted house. Oh Jesus, that was you scared the shit out of me. You like to dust the bottom of your paddle, a little bit of cornmeal, so the dough will slide off into the oven. So anyway, when I was in high school, my family, we lived in a, a haunted house, and you really just want to smooth your dough out and just give you a nice tight crust around the outside. We didn't know it was haunted when we moved in, but we weren't living there for more than maybe a month when things started to happen. Little things, innocuous things at first. In the middle of the night, my brother and I had a bedroom in the back of the house, and we'd hear the door that goes to the basement open up. Oh, this knife is killing me. I gotta get rid of it. Oh, shit. It's stuck. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Oh. Well, I feel better already. You knew uh, that it was this, the, the door in the, in the basement because it scraped on a carpet that had been put in later. We never sanded the bottom of the door, so in essence, the door would scrape. You know, we'd hear somebody walking around the living room, and we're like, okay, and then we screw up all our courage, and we go out there, and there was nothing there. But the door was open to the basement. Shut it, lock it, go back to bed. Half an hour later, the door opened again. And somebody's walking around the living room. So this went on for a couple of months. And then weird things started to happen. We'd you know, come home from school and like all the chairs and the furniture would be up on top of the tables. One time in the dead of winter, this is about six months into us living there, we came out into the kitchen and there were thousands of bees on the ceiling. I mean, just the ceiling was just covered with bees. And this is January in Buffalo, man. This is freezing cold. Where they came from, it was insane. So I remember it's like, and I took a broom, moved the bees on the ceiling, and they, as soon as I touched them, they all dropped on the floor and died. That was it. I literally swept the ceiling with tens of thousands of bees, and they went off the floor. Now I'm gonna start messing around with this. So then, we were kind of freaking out a little bit. Clearly, this is just not exactly, you know, a great place to be. But nobody had been hurt, nobody had been damaged. But then it got weird. All of a sudden, my brother woke up in the middle of the night. We shared a broom. He woke up and he had the cords of the Venetian blind next to his bed wrapped around his neck and literally was yanked out of his bed. So it got really scary. I'm getting, see, I'm starting to get chills thinking about this. Then the topper was, one night, my brother and I woke up in the middle of the night, and there was a party going on in the kitchen, which was just off of our room. And there were three women and two men. And they were having cocktails, they were laughing, they were having a ball. The woman, standing in the middle of the kitchen, looked into the room and looked right at me. And she started to walk towards me. I'm just putting a goodly sum of mozzarella on this. I do love cheese. 
we're gonna mess around with a little bit of mushrooms. So, she's walking toward me, laying in my bed, and all of a sudden I realized at that moment, it's what, I think it was one of those defining things in your life, where I realized that I wasn't gonna die in my bed, that this woman wasn't gonna kill me in my bed. So, I jumped out of my bed, and I ran right at her, and I ran right through her. When I ran through her, it was like I ran through a freezing cold icebox. And I, I'm still getting goosebumps, this is 40 years ago. Ran through her, disappeared, and that was the end of that. I want to flash forward just a little bit. We're gonna use turkey sausage. So we went to talk to the landlord. My mom was freaked out, we were all freaked out. Decided we're trying to get out of this lease. And we explained what we'd seen the night before. And the landlord went spare. And we didn't know the family very well, the landlord. But apparently he starts to tell a story that his wife had passed away a year ago in that back bedroom. And that night was actually their 20th anniversary. And so we witnessed an anniversary party. All right, I like slivered Kalamati olives. Just a nice little handful of these. And this is a kicker. I always love doing this. Messing around with blue cheese. Just enough to give it a kick. Years later, I made a TV series called Dead Tenants where I was so fascinated by ghosts that I started chasing ghosts, you know, in my professional career. Now, this is optional, but I kind of like the idea of messing with different spices. And so when you get into the poultry world, you start messing around with things like sage and thyme, you know, especially with turkey sausage. I think sage is really a fun option. Then, just top it off with a little Parmesan. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil on this. Oh, and I think, we're ready to go. What do you think? Huh? It's fantastic, isn't it? All right, we're gonna throw this in the oven at 400 degrees. You need a pizza stone, you can see from the bottom of this. So you put the dough on the pizza stone and set her in there, and then wish for the best. About 12 minutes, we should have a perfect pizza. Oh, look at that. Now that is a sweet pizza. Bubbly, a little crispy on the top. Oh! Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at this. How pretty is that? Ooh. All we gotta do now is eat it. Oh, and by the way, um, you know that story, we, uh, we did end up moving out of the house and uh, we never were haunted or uh, haunted by ghosts or anything else again. So, a happy ending to a scary part of my life. All right, let's eat. Mm. So this is my pumpkin pizza. So good. For the recipe, click on the link below. Mmm. Mm. <laughs>